Okay, today, Eliso Viejo. You might be thinking, Matt, I've never heard of Eliso Viejo. Where is that? And I'm really excited that you're watching this video if you're thinking about moving to Orange County. We know Orange County is expensive. You go to the more famous neighborhoods like Laguna Beach, Newport Beach, Dana Point, prices are two, three million dollars. But guess what? Here in Eliso Viejo, not very far from Laguna Beach, I'll show you exactly where in a minute, prices are like 30% less. And you might think, wow, it must be gross then. It's absolutely not. Look where I am right now. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. I'm in the town center. One thing I get when people reach out to me is, Matt, I wanna be 10 minutes to a Trader Joe's, some shops, some restaurants, kind of the things that I need for my week to week living. Some places in Orange County, that's hard to do. Not in Eliso Viejo. I'm in the town center right now. It's kind of got everything you want. It's got the Trader Joe's, the Barnes and Nobles, plenty of different restaurants. It's got emergency centers, medical centers. It's got a cinema as well if you've got kids and looking for something to do. It's got this amazing green space if you want to run the kids, lay out in the sunshine, maybe walk the dogs as well. It's got fast food, um, everything you kind of want, and also plenty of parking. Trust me, that's a bonus. So hang around today. I'm gonna to show you how much the homes cost. What is it like to live here? Is it good for families? Is it good for kids? What's it like to retire? I'm gonna talk about all of that. If that's what you're looking for, come on, let's go. Eliso Viejo is South Orange County, nestled between Laguna Beach, Dana Point, Mission Viejo. Newport Beach, Irvine, the two major hubs of uh, Orange County are less than 30 minutes away. So as you can see, the location of this city, it's really hard to beat. Population 52,000 and niche.com, a website I highly recommend if you are looking to research neighborhoods in Southern California. They ranked Eliso Viejo 63rd out of 528 cities and neighborhoods that they reviewed in California. If you ask me, that's pretty good. Oh, the wind has picked up a little bit, so I am gonna put this mic on, so for better for sound. So apart from the location, which I think is really, um, really highly rated in Orange County, what really stands out when it comes to Eliso Viejo is the price of the homes compared to its local neighbors. You're not very far from Dana Point. You're not very far from Laguna Beach. These homes average two and a half, three million dollars to get on the market. In Elisa Viejo, just a short drive away from these more famous cities, they're about 30% less. You can get on the market here for six to seven hundred thousand dollars. Two bedroom condo, around a thousand square foot, six to seven hundred grand. Now, you want a three bedroom condo, you're gonna need 800,000 to a million. It's gonna get you 1,200 square foot. This is where the prices start to really look good. Single family home, three beds, you can get on the market 1.2 million. You try finding that in Southern uh, Orange County, it is not easy. And then the bigger the home, the more bang for your buck. You can get some beautiful large homes up to 3,000 square foot, 1.5 to $2 million, 3,000 square foot. And the great thing about Eliseo Viejo, you can get 4,000 square foot homes for under 3 million bucks. Homes don't really hit $3 million here. That's the average price in Laguna Beach, and you're not getting a 4,000 4, square foot house in Laguna Beach for $3 million, trust me. So the bigger the house that you're looking for, the more bang for your buck you get. A lot of the homes here are two stories. I know people love their single story homes, especially when they're retiring. So if there is a single family home on the market, it generally goes for more money, there's multiple offers, but, if you are looking to move to Southern Orange County, your budget doesn't stretch to the more famous cities that we know and love, take a look at Alicia Viejo. You won't be disappointed. And today, I'm gonna to show you why. Okay, here is the main reason I wanted to bring you to Aliso Viejo today. I get a lot of people reaching out saying, I wanna live in Orange County. The house needs to be four bed. It needs to be over 2000 square foot. Our budget is 1.4 to 1.6 million. I wanna live in a cool spot of Orange County. And when they start looking, 
Laguna Beach, Dana Point, Newport Beach, Huntington Beach, they soon realize that that budget doesn't go really far. They think they have to go up to Lake Forest or down to San Juan Capistrano, San Clemente, and that's just a little bit quiet for them. And they're, they're upset. People are like, oh, we wanted to live in the cool spots like Laguna Beach. Well, guess what? Elisa Viejo, it's right by Laguna Beach and you are getting these large homes. 2,300 square foot, four bedroom, swimming pool for 1.4 to $1.7 million. Yes, all the homes kind of look the same, but it's a nice community. I'm only 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes from where I just was with all the shops and the restaurants and the bars. The roads are nice, the schools are obviously excellent. It's the Capistrano Unified School District. Excellent schools, like I always say, do your research when it comes to the schools. But you've got to check out this area. I'm not sure why homes are 30% cheaper. I just don't get it. It's very clean. You've got the beautiful mountain views, homelessness, Look, there's homelessness everywhere we go these days, unfortunately, but compared to some areas of Los Angeles County, it's non-existent. They have it under control in Orange County. Um, so homelessness, not an issue. If you ask me, if you're looking to start a family, raise a family, have older children, or are looking to retire, Elisa Viejo should definitely be on your radar. And just take a look at these homes. Yes, they're two-story. I know a lot of people do not want two-story homes. Maybe they've got young kids, you're looking to retire. But if a two-story home is okay for you, take a look. The lots aren't massive. They're between four and a half thousand, seven thousand square foot. But there's no HOA on these homes. Orange County, there's a lot of HOAs, not in this community. But be, um, be aware, a lot of homes on Zillow, on Redfin, say single family let me go up here there's some big homes i want to show you they say single family homes they're not really they're more like town homes they're on lots that are two two and a half thousand square foot so do your research or find an agent who will know this and can tell you me for example and look at these roads look how clean they are and look how quiet it is if you've got young kids wanting to play outside this is a great neighborhood um, and these views, you probably can't really tell from my camera, but there's some beautiful city views as well. That's hard to find in a lot of places. And look at these blue skies, people. It's the middle of March, 70 degrees, the sun's out, probably for the rest of the year now. I've got a lot of people who have moved from Texas in the last two years. They're like, Matt, it's not a bad place to live, but this weather right now, we've had 100 days of 100 degrees or more last summer. It was absolutely brutal. We couldn't go out during the day. Same with Florida. They're like, wow, this humidity is worse than we thought. I'm actually wearing a sweater right now. <laughs> I'm not sweating. Um, so yeah, we all know the weather in Southern California is good, but however good you think it is, trust me, it's better than that. In case you're wondering, who on earth am I? I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke, I'm a local realtor. I made the move from England back in 2008. I know what it's like to make a scary move. So if you are feeling a bit of trepidation, give me a call, shoot me a text. I'll jump on a Zoom call with you. We can talk it through and see if it's the right decision for you to take the family, move across states or move across continents. Hope to hear from you. Also, when it comes to the location, yes, if you're looking to commute somewhere, there's not exactly a huge job hub in Elisa Viejo. You might be working in Newport Beach. You might be working in Irvine. But wherever you are working, the great thing about living in this city, number one, you have the toll roads. So it's very easy to get anywhere. You've also got the 405. You've got the five right by you. So it's very, very easy just to jump on the freeway to be honest, you're less than 30 minutes from anywhere you might be working in. Um, so once again, when it comes to the location, even if you want to get up into LA, you can do it in one hour. So um, yeah, can't really talk highly enough about this location. And you might be like, Matt, we're moving to Southern California. We want to enjoy the outside lifestyle, take advantage of the weather. 
what is there around us? Can we do some hiking, biking, uh, take the kids out? Well, guess what? You've got Aliso and the Woods Canyon Park, four and a half thousand acres. Is that enough for you? It opens at seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, it closes at sunset and it's beautiful. The views, absolutely incredible. So knock your socks off, go biking, go walking. Um, take the dogs, take the kids. So yes, it's right on your doorstep. Once again, that's huge if you ask me. All right, you're like, okay, Matt, this all sounds great, but there has to be some negatives. There's always a negative, right, when it comes to living somewhere. And yes, you definitely need a car. <laughs> the walkability to get anywhere really non-existent. Um, and fancy restaurants and bars, if you like a nice martini or a real tasty Italian dish or some French cuisine, does Aliso Viejo offer that to you? Mm. I wouldn't say really fancy. You might have to go to Laguna Beach or Newport Beach, but you know what? They're not far away. And if that's the only negatives I can really find, <laughs> it's not that bad, is it? And also, if you wanna go shopping, yes, there's the town center here in Aliso Viejo, but you know, in terms of clothes shopping, you wanna do some retail therapy. It's not great, but you've got the Spectrum Center in Irvine, 20 minutes away, nice outdoor, um, shopping mall really really good not that old also got some restaurants and you've got the south coast plaza also about 20 25 minutes away if you ask me that's a world class shopping center everything you need is going to be there so once again if you live in this neighborhood you want to go do some fancy shopping it's only about 20 25 minutes away not too shabby there's also some gated communities Maybe you're looking to retire, you wanna spend three or four months out of the state. That way you know uh, your house is well locked up, no one's getting in there. So yeah, if you're looking for gated communities, Alicia Vieira has, has that to offer you. Um, and it also has an abundance of homes under a million dollars. I know it's very expensive to buy homes right now, especially with the interest rates where they are. And buying in Orange County, because of that, is super difficult. Not many neighborhoods or not many good neighborhoods with homes under a million dollars. Aliso Viejo has that for you. There's some really nice three bedroom condos for eight, 900,000 bucks. Definitely check them out. And you know what I really like about this community as well? The curb appeal of the homes, the pride of ownership. Every home is kind of taken care of. There's no house on the block that kind of needs renovating. It's a very new community. Most of these homes were built in the early uh, 2000 so it's not like you have a 1950s home that needs rehabbing and they're your next door neighbors and it's bringing the price down of the community every home is in good shape every home kind of looks the same so you're not going to have uh, you know architectural disasters that you absolutely hate looking at is that a positive yes but i know for some people having all the homes look the same could also be a negative and just driving anywhere, to be honest. It's so picturesque, the hills, the greenery. It's pretty relaxing. Up in LA County, for example, it's just like a concrete jungle and other parts of Orange County as well. But driving through Elisa Viejo up to Laguna Beach or, or south or anywhere really, really quite relaxing, very zen. If you're interested in learning more about Orange County, I've done videos on almost every neighborhood. So check them out, whether it's Newport Beach, Laguna Beach, Irvine, San Juan Capistrano, San Clemente, you name it, I've probably done a video on it. So I hope to see you at my next video. My take on Elisa Viejo, for what it's worth, like I said earlier, if you're looking to raise a family, if you have an older family, maybe you're empty nesters or you're looking to retire, Elisa Viejo has a lot to offer you. It's really hard to talk of a negative point just because of the price of the homes. They are really, really good. Is it on your radar? Maybe not. Should it be? Absolutely.